Welcome Sagittarius to your <clears throat> mid-month 15 through the 21st reading. Hope everyone is having a wonderful uh, March so far. Okay. Sorry, I'm still trying to keep myself from coughing. I still have that bronchial cough going on. Okay, let's see what's in your energy, Sagittarius. going to be what you are thinking and feeling. Okay, and I have the four of wands. And let's get a clarification. Okay. Oh, it looks like somebody oh, got that passion going on. Passions in what? Harmony. Very nice. Okay. So you got passions and harmony. So somebody could be getting married. Maybe you had a proposal. You're thinking about proposing to someone or you're hoping that they'll propose to you. Okay. Or maybe you're thinking about the proposal they've already given you. Right. And just thinking very happy, wonderful you know, lifestyle with this person over here who makes you feel so harmonious, who makes you feel so wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> Got a queen of pinnacles and a four of wands, and this is your present energy. In the past, you have a queen of swords. Okay. And in the near future, you have the star card. Very nice. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. I have a lot of, of air here. So it could be definitely dealing with an air sign or a could be a uh, earth sign. Taurus, a uh, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay, so why is the Queen of Pentacles here, Spirit? Because of the Ace of Swords. Very nice. You're getting that clarity. Feeling very nurturous. Uh, maybe the person you're dealing with is is just treating you like a queen or a king with their um, nurturing. Um, they're very prosperous, very loving. Okay, or it could be you. Okay, but I really feel like you're, you know, you're very clear that you know that this person is this way or that you are this way to this person. Okay. So then you have the defending Okay. Defending the relationship from an emperor. Whoa, okay, so hold on one second. <laughs> Defending the relationship from an emperor. So I'm thinking you might have an older man that's in, that is uh, involved with this. This could be a father, a father figure, an older man. It could be uh, like his dad, your dad, grandpa, uncle, whoever it is. Okay, and you're defending this relationship from this person. Okay, this person is, um, has gen uh, general like leadership of, um, attitude, okay, and they sit on their throne and when they speak, everybody can hear it, right? And you're defending yourself from this person. <clears throat> wow, okay, hold on one second because I'm getting something in my head here. I hear this coming in. This person does not like the relationship that you're in. And you're trying to, to, I don't know if the word prove so much is the word, but I think you are really are definitely trying to make them realize that this person makes you feel like a queen. And um, you're just like, I, I think you're really defending your person. From this person. I'm thinking dad over here, or grandpa, somebody doesn't like your partner. And it makes you feel like you have to go into rest mode. And here's the king of wands. So it could be this person again, this dad like figure. Since we have this is an Aries Taurus card and this is Aries Leo Sagittarius. So we have, you know, or is this you? 
you know, taking on that and taking on your sitting in your emperor, uh, you know, emperor throne yourself, um, saying, you know, um, yeah, I'm going to do what I'm going to do with the wands for this love and <coughs> two of cups, knowing what's yours, taking action towards what's yours. You are still in four of wands though, because you're thinking and meditating, right? You're taking a little break <clears throat> to think. Yeah, to think, because you have some uh, realizations to go through. And this is coming down here in two, guys. This devil is coming across from this emperor. So whoever this emperor is, <coughs> as I say, when the devil comes up, it's that... Um, kind of like a, a realization of a nasty behavior. Okay, so you're realizing that this person is nasty, right? They might be talking bad. They're talking sinful. They're talking, um, you know, not good stuff. So, and I always, you know, that's that's that realiza realization of the devil. Realizing the sinful behavior. He is saying something about this relationship that you find abusive to yourself, Okay. Maybe they say really, he says really, really harsh, negative things about your partner. And, um, or maybe this is your partner's, you know, um, dad, brother, or somebody who's talking bad about you, but it doesn't matter. You're realizing that they're, that they're talking abusive <clears throat> to you. It could go either way, but there is a realization and you do feel like you're defending yourself from this person for this relationship. And here's the relationship again. So you have the relationship next to the two of to the uh, two of cups. Okay. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm seeing that somebody is against this relationship, but you are sitting in your energy. Beautiful. You're just like, this is my world. This is my passion. This is my love. And this whole energy reading and this whole reading is around finding the harmony, the um, harmonious, excuse me, balance between the two of you, no matter what this person says. Okay, so you have the Queen of Swords, okay, in the past, comfort, loving, okay, no, uh, knowledgeable, logical, okay, they give you a very healing, they, they give out very healing um, energy, okay, and it was like, this could be the person you're dealing with, it was like the perfect timing to meet this person, it was moving a little slow. There were some indecisions going on at the time in the past, but you had, it was good luck. It felt destined. It felt like, wow, I've met Mr. Right. This is awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, you felt the ace of wands coming in. My diamond has luster. You know, it's awesome. It's beautiful. You know, we have become, you know, one. I am sitting on my throne as the queen of wands. I am just, you know, feeling beautiful. And I really do believe that this, this queen of uh, swords over here is your partner. This is the one that you've met who is comforting and loving and just a joy to be around. Maybe there was something in the past that you, you know, had come out of a, a broken relationship or something and they were help healing you. Okay. And if they just seem to just pop up right at this, the right moment. Yeah. Cause it felt like. Definitely. It felt like you were out in the cold before you met this person. You were hurt. You were wandering around with a broken heart, right? And they just seemed to come in right when you needed them to. Okay. So it was just, that's why it felt, that's why you feel like it's destiny. God sent them to me. The universe gave me this person and we hit it off so well with the ace of wands. <clears throat> but your biggest problem is this person. Okay. That's the person that's holding back. Okay, this is the person you're, you know, you always have to defend yourself with. We'll figure out why in just a second. What is up with this king, this emperor? I mean, I just, that's him. I know it is. Because now we have your person being recognized as the queen. You're over here as the queen of, of uh, earth. You're over here as your own. You're over here as your own. 
your person's coming in as a queen and this I'm telling you right now this is going to be this guy here this king of cups is coming in as this emperor he's mad he's upset why is he so upset oh he doesn't think that he's going to come in and even though he's going to be so mature he thinks you're immature so he does not like you you're too joyful you're too happy you have some um very childlike playful energy i think you're too immature for my son or my daughter okay maybe it's because the page is young too maybe you're maybe he feels you're too young or maybe he believes that your partner is too young for you you know maybe there's a difference in age and he sees you as not good because i'm this emperor is old much older and um I'm thinking that there's an age difference between you guys or there is just a really playful childlike um, attitude that goes with this uh, this person that you're dealing with or yourself <clears throat> and this king does not want anything to do with this for some reason I'm really feeling age difference but for the majority of you and but uh, this king is not having it he's not gonna have it it was like you brought him to the Christmas party and you introduced you introduced him to the king and um, the king was like, who's this? You know, who's this young guy? Who's this young gal? Uh, what are you doing with them? You know what I mean? They're not your age. Okay, and he just was not going to have it at all. He wasn't even going to give it a try. So he started being abusive towards them. He was using abusive towards... Uh, a, abusive type behavioral uh, language. I can see stuff like uh, you're robbing the cradle or or um, uh, what'd you bring this young tot in for, you know? S stuff like that just seems very abusive and very rude and disrespectful. Okay, and yeah, they were emotionally unhappy about this. <clears throat> yeah, and they were they were definitely trying to break you up by their abusive language. Okay. Trying to separate you. It was causing you actually heartache as well. And uh, maybe it was because he was doing it towards you. But it doesn't matter how it's going to be. If they're saying something bad about your loved one, it's going to hurt your heart. And if they're talking bad about yourself, it's going to hurt yourself. So no matter how you're going to see this. And I'm telling you right now, we do have a third party situation, no matter how you're going to see this. You can even say that, you know what, it was hurting me. You're trying to separate us and, you know, you're in my business. And this is definitely a third party situation because this emperor will not get out. They are always, he is always abusive towards you or your, or your uh, partner. Okay, your loved one. So, yeah, and they, he just will not stay out of your business. You know, ever since this Christmas party, ever since this Thanksgiving dinner, you know, he is just, you know, birthday, whatever it was, he just will not stay out of your business. Absolutely. Absolutely passing judgment. It's all bad news. It's all bad mojo. It's like he's always passing judgment. He won't be quiet. <laughs> he won't stay out of your business. And it could, it could be a woman, okay? It doesn't have to be a male. It's just somebody with a lot of authority who is older. You know, it could be a mother. You know, it could be, you know, either sex. It doesn't matter. The point is they won't stay out of your business. And it's causing heartache. But you know what's funny? is It's like it's causing you heartache, but you're staying in your power. You're staying in your power. You're like, I don't care what you're going to say because see right here, you're always defending yourself for this love. And you're like, I don't, you know, you're not going to break me. Okay. You might hurt me, but you ain't breaking me. Well, good for you. Don't let somebody break down your relationship because whatever ego problems they have just because they don't like somebody. 
Maybe this person hasn't even given this. I, I feel, and I really do feel, and I'm going to say it the other way. I'm going to say it this way. This person hasn't even given this other person a chance. He's seen what they look like. He's seen that they were younger, that they're full-hearted, and that they're, you know, fun and funny. And they're not even giving this, this person a chance at all. Okay, so over here you have the star, and once again, third-party situation. He's putting this person on a pedestal. Why is the emperor putting this person on a pedestal? Because he says he doesn't like him. But you're over here going, you know, I just wish you'd just leave me alone. Stay out of our business. So you're still over here trying to heal from this emperor over here who just won't be quiet and stay out of your business. Okay, and... You know, you're wishing upon a star, okay, that they would either get it or get out. You know, either, you know, um, either support us or go away, right? But, you know, it's like there's just no options to this. They, he just continues to give you Ten of Swords. It's just something's going to have to be done. Fighting, yep, always arguing with you. He, this emperor is always arguing about you, about you getting your new fresh start, right? Change your beginnings. Get away from this person. Yeah, they, they don't want you to do that. But funny thing is, here you are over here manifesting a new beginning for yourself with your own partner. You're not listening to him. Because your partner makes you happy, and man, it's just gonna, and just, just going to keep continuing to give us threes, threes, threes to let us understand that this emperor really is in your business. Okay, so anyways, it doesn't matter trying to be happy, maybe even trying to be happy with the emperor, trying to do everything that you can to stay happy, thinking about new ways and delegating, delegating. How are we going to get the emperor to understand that we're happy? I mean, what do I have to do? Beg for his? His mercy, beg for his happiness, beg for him to be happy for us. Oh boy. So, you know, the emperor just, let me use a different deck really fast so we can figure out why doesn't the emperor, I, I'm just saying, I already, I think we already know, but let's just look anyways. I think it's just because he really does does believe this person's too young, too young and or, or too, too giddy, not as, um, mature as myself. Yeah, that type of behavior. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, page of coins, immaturity. An ace of cups upside down. He wants it done. He wants this relationship over. <clears throat> he thinks that he's too immature. He thinks that he's too young. He's too young for you. Too immature for you. And he wants this relationship over with. And yeah, he wants to sit on his throne as the king of staffs again. Because he is unhappy about this love relationship. Oh, he's hoping that somebody else will offer... Somebody stronger, oh wow, okay, stronger, more mature, more, will offer you, okay, offer you, oh goodness, looking for your options, yeah, he wants you to go out there, look for somebody else who's a little more mature, who has more strength and seems, you know, bigger and tougher and more mature, and, you know, and hoping that you have new offerings coming, and that's what he wants. He wants you to get rid of this lover. He is not. Um, and he may never, he may never understand that. And I'm just going to go with he, take it how it resonates, but I just, I'm feeling it's he right now, and he is just not interested, and he just thinks that, I, I just really get this, it's like an old school way of thinking. It's like, he's older, and he's like, like telling, like you're the daughter, his daughter, and he's like, this lad that you brought home is so immature, and he's weak, and you know, and maybe you're dealing with a colonel, you know, or somebody of that kind of authority, right? And <clears throat> he's like, he's weak, and you need someone strong, and you know, and more mature, who's a knight, not a page, and 
you know what I mean? More your, more your age and ask more his age. And you know, there's more fish in the sea for you. This love's trash and you need to find, you know what I mean? And that I just, oh my God, it's like talking to my grandfather. Rest in peace, but I'm telling you. So, you know, this seems like a very older, older man. This could even be your grandfather, right? Because it sounds, you know, depending on your age, your age group, but yeah, this could be anywhere between, yeah, like my grandfather, <laughs> like my grandfather, <laughs> you know, bless his heart, he'd be like, you know, 80, he'd be about 90 years old if he were alive today, but I mean, that's that era that I'm thinking is like, you don't date weak men, you know, does he fight for the army? What do you mean he does computer work? That's weak, you know, or something lame like that. I mean, he's just not going to like this person that you're bringing home. And if it's your mother who's doing this, it's the same scenario. Just turn it all around. You know exactly what I'm saying. Oh, I don't know if he can stick up for you. You know, we really need knight in shining armors, not little, not little boys, you know, or something crazy. So I'm really feeling this and I really feel it for you as well because, I mean, it, seriously, it's breaking my own heart to see this because I know those kind of people. It's almost like they're over-conservative, over-judgmental. <clears throat> and that's where the um, devil is coming in over here. So <clears throat> I'm going to grab some angel cards because, wow. Wow. I just... Where did I do with my angel cards? Oh, here they are on the table. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah, and I'm, that's really what I'm picking up here. Is it's like, no matter what you're going to do, he's not going to like them. And then it makes me wonder if this is like your dad or something. Is he going to be like the kind of guy that's like, don't worry about it. He never likes anybody I date, right? Unless he picks them. Oh, God, please don't. <laughs> you know, please, Jesus, don't let him do it. Okay, so been there, done that one before. Yeah, I got this guy. Yeah, please take him away. That's all I need is to date someone like my dad. Okay. Anyways, so let's keep going. Yeah. Yeah, don't stop. Angel say don't stop. And that's like, don't stop. Just because he continues to keep doing what he's doing, you continue to love. You can continue to do the things that you guys do together. This looks like a beautiful relationship of, of destiny. You found a soulmate. You know, something like this. You guys are harmonizing together. Angels say, do not stop. Listen to your own intuition. Don't listen to, you know, <clears throat> the giddy bitty old man over here, right? Don't listen to him. Listen to what your heart says. Listen to your own intuition. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to grab some angel romance cards. <sighs> Boy, are you going to need some. All the advice that you're going to need. Okay, so... Actually, you know, what you're doing on your own path seems beautiful. It's just this other person in here is really in the way. Now, I wish there was a cards that they made that are like how to talk to the third party. <laughs> you know, if I were rich, I would make those cards. You know, like, sorry, granddad, but this is my relationship and you're going to have to step on out. Where's those cards, right? Okay. Chemistry, okay? There's a strong magnetic attraction here, and I already seen that here. Like, I just said it before, whether you're, you're <clears throat> soulmates or not, you definitely have a strong chemistry together. Wedding, I'm putting that right here because I see that there too, and then it makes me wonder, is, is that where granddad's gonna really, or dad, or whoever this older gentleman is, the emperor, man. If you guys are talking about wedding, which we see the four of wands anyways, Boy, how is that going to affect him, right? Just wait till he finds out that news, right? Oh, boy. This situation involves marriage. And, and then for some of you, maybe that's what was happening as well. Maybe you already told him, and that's when he really got, you know, really, you know, pissy. <clears throat> maybe that's when the bad, you know, the really bad stuff started coming out of his mouth, right? Right? Okay, and let's see if we can find one more for those of you who are not getting married. This situation involves marriage. Okay. 
where's the one that just, I just want the one. Like, can I just dig through the deck and just look for the one that tells grandpa to get out of my life? I mean, is there one in here? <laughs> okay, Spirit, just give us our card. But seriously, you know, it's like, where's the one that says third party situation, get out? Ugh. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so just have faith. Okay, and know that you just know that you know what you're doing. And, you know, maybe there's, you know, just, okay, whatever. And just kind of do, you know, oh, I hear you. I, I hear you. Okay, I got to go now. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. You know, just give him the, you know, guarantees of whatever, right? Okay, and we're going to get a soul card over here. Okay, so. Okay. This one's freedom. <laughs> okay. So, boundless freedom surges me, surges through me. Okay. So, just be free like this little horse. You know, don't let grandpa or whoever over here bring you down, ever. Which, like I said, I just don't really see that. You're too busy thinking about getting married or being beautiful over there with your relationship. I don't really see anything where, except for this card here, you know, where he actually can get to you. But I don't, you know, for a lot of you, I just don't think that you really let that, you know. It bothers someone a lot, and then it doesn't bother the other person that much. So, however that resonates. Okay. Just let's look kind of like it does for a while, but then and just get over it. Okay, so card meaning break free, express yourself, and let your spirit fly. Flaunt your stuff, dance, laugh, explore, and go beyond predictable behavior. And I'm telling you right now, this is this person, and this is what granddad don't like. That is exactly what he's doing. He this this man makes you break free. He makes you dance, laugh, explore, and have a good time. And he's like, that's immature. We don't dance, you know, at your age, you don't dance or something, you know, and, and be daring and fling your arms up to the heavens and just go be joyful with this person. And I, this is what this person is doing with you. And he is so against it. Okay. So your soul wants you to know you aren't here to be ordinary, but to step beyond limitations and self-imposed boundaries. Don't allow yourself to be trapped by convention or the expectations of others. You have the ability to choose your life on your terms. Replace the phrase, I should, with, I could. But I choose not to do this all the time. Perhaps you aren't always free to create the exact circumstances of your life, but you are certainly able to decide what meanings to give those situations. Select the meanings that empower you, for this is time for you to break free and be beautiful. Okay, with this beautiful person that you have over here who just makes you feel so alive. And too bad for this person, okay? Too bad for him. And that was your reading. And I hope that you enjoyed that. And I will see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe. Whatever doesn't resonate, just throw away. <clears throat> There's probably, you know, a lot of different circumstances going on that could be different from what story I was told. So... <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you at the end of the month and peace and love to each and every one of you. Until then, bye-bye.